Now we will machine the pockets and holes on the side walls. We don't have to create geometry anymore, we just need to extract them from the model. And to do this, we must first create the appropriate local plane. From the work plane tab, select from solid model face, select the model face and accept the selection. In some cases it may be necessary to change the position of the origin of the coordinate system to the lower left corner of the local work plane. Select set work plane origin, select the endpoint of snap and select this point and OK. And now we can extract the geometries on this plane. From the solid model extract, select contour around picked faces, OK, select this face and accept the selection and now pick an edge to mark the bottom Z level, select this edge and pick an edge to mark the top Z level, select this edge and accept the selection by right clicking. OK. Circles can be extracted using the option contour from picked edges. Select this option, OK. Select this edge and as bottom Z level select this edge, accept the selection and top Z level select this edge, accept the selection. And again, use this option, select the edge, bottom Z level this one and top Z level this one and OK. Our geometries is extracted and now let's extract the geometries on the next plane. From the work plane tab select from solid model face, select this face, accept the selection, move the work plane origin to this place and from the solid model extract select contour around picked faces ok select this face accept the selection and when using this option the lower Z level and top Z level are recognized from the model so you can accept the selection by right clicking and OK. Let's repeat this for this face. OK. 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 All right, and the last plane. Okay. Let's hide the toolpaths and go to the work plane tab in the project manager and select the first work plane and let's check the toolpath sites. OK, it's inside the geometry, inside the geometry. OK, it looks, looks good. OK, go to the first plane and let's check the circle diameter. From the cut tab select the radius of the smaller circle diameter is 10 millimeters and the bigger circle is diameter is 20 millimeters okay so first let's select the tool drill 10 from the machine tab select tool 
and from the AlphaCam default tools select Drill 10. OK, and let's prepare drilling, drill machine holes, drill tap holes auto Z, drilling, all selected holes, OK, safe rapid distance 25, feed down distance 5, and drilling to drill tip, OK, and select this circle, and you can select also this circle. Accept the selection, OK, OK, and repeat these four circles on the plane 3. Select this plane and again drill machine holes, drill tap holes auto Z, drilling all selected holes, OK, and select this hole and this hole. Accept the selection, OK, OK. Now let's select tool for machine the pockets. Go to the first work plane, select tool and select, for example, flat 10. OK, and select pocketing, auto Z, selected. OK, general tab, OK, levels and cuts, safe rapid distance 25, feed down distance 5, max depth per cut 2, and slope angle for lead in, for example, 45 degrees, and click OK, and select this geometry, and accept the selection and repeat this for another pockets select another work plane pocketing same parameters ok max depth per cut set to 2 millimeters ok and accept the selection pocketing ok Accept the selection and last pocket. OK, and accept the selection. OK, now we will prepare helical meaning of this hole. Select rough or finish. First, select this plane, select rough or finish. Out of this, select it. OK, OK. Helical interpolation and depth of cut 2 mm, lead in, lead out. Zero point 0.2, same here, Zero point 0.2. OK, copy this to lead out and overlap 2. OK, select this circle, accept the selection and repeat this for this circle, OK, accept the selection. OK, here we have the wrong tool side, so let's change this. OK, and go to the operation tab and update these toolpaths. OK. Go to the work plane tab, select the flatland. OK. And run the solid simulation. OK. Show the tool. Okay, and in this way we prepared indexial 
machining based on 3D model. We extracted the geometries lying on the side walls of the model and machined them using AutoZ machining.